Don't you just love people like this? He starts off by saying, you heard of a no limits fallacy? That already tells me he's measuring these characters based off of versus based off of the fan made versus battle standards. Which already you done fucked up. You done fucked up already. You ever heard of falsely claiming a fallacy? Of course that's my response. I'm talking about the endless horizon of power par. That basically doesn't count for anything, as you are saying, Garo's words count for absolute truth, while you're ignoring the fact. If Garo met someone like Goku, his expectations of endless would rise incredibly. Saitama, Goku Ko. My God. You can't just come up in this shit and decide that information just doesn't count. You have to give a legitimate reason and a damn good one to dismiss that shit. But the fact is, this motherfucker don't even understand Saitama power correctly. Hell, he doesn't even understand Gyro's power correctly. But yeah, you got the balls to come up in here and just discredit some shit simply because you can? Who, who the fuck are you? Who, who, who the fuck are you? Yes, Garo words are absolute truth in this scenario. He's the one that became God's avatar. He's the one that has all the knowledge of all the energies in the universe and how all the forces work. Yes, so his word there is truth, way more than yours will ever freaking be. And no, Garo's expectations of endless would not rise incredibly if he faced off against Goku. Goku has to constantly break his freaking limits to get stronger his shit just don't exponentially endlessly skyrocket without end he doesn't operate like Saitama so no it would actually be a downgrade if Go if Garo faced off against Goku of course I asked him on what authority? Y'all can go ahead and read my comment. He comes in with the power scale and nonsense. When did I say I had the authority to say that? You didn't have to say that directly. But your comment clearly made it sound as such. Anyway... You, you you see how he didn't give me a legitimate reason? He just dismissed it? I call people like this trolls. You can't just come up in this bitch, dismiss information, and not give a legitimate reason on doing so. And then when you get called out on it, you try to just brush it off like you ain't say what you just said the fuck this motherfucker real close to getting blocked anyway having infinite strength literally means nothing you see the bullshit he's just deciding here he doesn't even understand why one why Saitama is so fucking powerful he just sitting here making these claims Goku already has multiple feats of being 60. In Dragon Ball Z, not even Super, Goku can destroy heaven, which is scaled from 60 and up by super dimensions. Cho Jigen, Ko Jigen, which are 5D to any higher finite dimension, as Ko Jigen 
can also translate to beyond higher dimensions. Higher dimensions, in my opinion, being 4D. So he can already be scaled to hyperversible. <laughs> oh, wow. On top of that, there is the Superuku space, which has no concept of space or time, making it out of versal. Basically, your entire argument is that Saitama is limitless and infinite. And my head canon says otherwise. My God. I actually provide the factual information to back up what the fuck I'm saying. There is no argument here that I'm presenting. I'm simply presenting the factual information as is. While your ass is just up in this bitch trying to discredit that shit. There's a huge difference here in the way we present our sh our fucking arguments. You're trying to discredit some shit and lowball some shit. While me, on the other hand, I'm just presenting the factual information as is. There's a huge difference here. We are not the same. But being infinite or limitless means nothing, as that would only get Saitama to infinite 5D. My, 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 my guy. You're putting a limitation on this shit goes against the factual information itself. It, it, it literally contradicts the factual information itself. But yet, he wants to be so right that he's blatantly ignoring this. Saitama, Saitama can grab out subspace, which isn't a mathematical subspace, so 5D. And on top of that, there is the infinite strength statement, which makes it infinite 5D. Even if we went and said he was way higher than 5D, we can still scale Goku higher with super dimensions, Goku, Saitama, keep coping <laughs> lol you even said that exponential growth that goes on infinitely eventually gets to infinity in your other video that's just stupid really now despite the fact that his strength literally has an infinity symbol behind that's just stupid really I didn't know breaking down the information i even said looking for the from the point of view that if his strength didn't start at infinity when he removed his limiter that at a certain point in time when you keep growing without end that strength is eventually gonna reach the realms of infinity any fucking way so so don't it don't matter how you want to look at it the fact that the creator put this man power at the maximum while at the same time Saitama literally having infinite growth, that shit would make his strength infinite. But of course, you heard none of that. You just a moron commenting in my comment section. It's like you it's like saying if you count high enough. You'll be at you'll be at infinity, but that is not how counting works. There will always be one after it. I'm going to make an example out of you. Get your Disney villa ass threats out of here, bro. Ain't no threats here. I'm actually making an example out of you. People, when you want to discredit information, you gotta give a really, and I mean really solid, legitimate reason don't do what this clown fucking did because it's not gonna get you any fucking where of course you can read my comment here oh he typed something else know what tell me the proof you have for Saitama being limitless other than Garo saying endless horizon of power is this motherfucker stupid you literally just watched my other video and you're sitting here asking for more proof. This is the clown shit I'm talking about.
the fact that Saitama literally has infinite growth because he removed his limiter. The fact that the creator decided to put this motherfucker at the maximum power level, which can only be attained in the final chapter of usual manga. This motherfucker put a character who doesn't have a limit on how powerful they can become at the freaking maximum, which there is no true fucking max. The shit would just be infinite. You're asking for proof? Besides the infinite horizon statement, motherfucker, that infinite horizon statement adds even more to all of this. The fact that his strength stat literally has the fucking infinity symbol by it, you dumbass motherfucker. The fact that we always get Saitama is immeasurable. Another statement that Saitama is immeasurable. You get the infinite horizon statement that's further confirming that Saitama shit is infinite. And then you get the infinitely strong statement from the character who literally has all the knowledge of all the energies in the universe. The motherfucker who can literally copy Saitama's stats. Oh, proof that his strength is infinite. Yo, get the fuck out my comment section, you clown. I, I, I don't tolerate the level of stupidity that you're demonstrating here. You're literally... Oh, yeah. And the fact that his power still hasn't stopped growing, despite the fact that the creator put this motherfucker at the maximum. If you use your brain a little bit and actually listen, that dude's a perfect example of a person who watches a video not to actually listen and to understand, but simply just to argue against it. Don't be that. Don't, don't fucking be that guy. By you putting a limitation on Saitama, you're literally contradicting the factual information itself. You're trying to sit here and decide that Goku beat Saitama based on feats while blatantly ignoring that the creator put this man at the maximum. A character who literally has no limit to how strong they can become. He put Saitama shit at the maximum, making this man literally infinite in power. The definition of infinity It's very simple. The state or quality of being infinite. There is no freaking limit here. You putting a dimensional limitation on Saitama contradicts the factual information itself and how powerful he actually is. There's no limit with Saitama. He was literally made without a limit. All that bullshit of getting stronger throughout the work of fiction, constantly training and getting stronger without limit, constantly fighting opponents and getting stronger without limit, the creator skipped past all that shit and just put him at the maximum. But infinity has no limit. So you're saying Saitama's 5D at best is a direct contra fucking diction, you dumbass. Don't come in here trying to argue something while blatantly contradicting the factual information about the character itself. Because now, this ain't... This ain't even an opinionated thing anymore. You're just factually wrong at this point. If you want to measure a character by feats and decide that Goku defeats a character by feats, pick a character who fits into that fan-made sister. Pick a character 
full, actual full power and how strong they actually are can be decided by their feet. Because Saitama feats are not a accurate representation of how powerful he truly is. The way the author set up One Punch Man so far, they never will be. So you sitting here talking about some what hold on, what's the garbage that came out of your mouth? Goku being 6D or scales higher to that while making Saitama 5D, you already done fucked up. You already done fucked up. This, this, uh, I'm zero p tolerance for people like you in my comment section. You came in this video with the bullshit and you're gonna leave on a bullshit note. The fuck? Fuck out my comment section, man.